Hi everyone, in this video we'll transmit the music using a laser over 442 meters. We invite you to watch the whole video because we are first going to present our creation and try on a short distance, then we'll try very far. At the end, we will explain how it works and test the laser's power. To transmit the music we need an emitter, a receiver and between both, as you guessed, a laser beam. Using it is pretty simple. We plug the jack to a device. Here we have a switch to light the laser. And here we can choose the modulation level, from low to high with an intermediate. To aim the receiver, which can be really far, we need an extra high precision. That's why we've created a stuff precise at a 77th degree, from top to bottom, and from left to right. Currently, the receiver is a guitar amplifier with a high gain. It's linked by jack to a mini solar panel. The laser we use has a 250 mW power, which is about 100 times more than ordinary laser trackers. In order to see the laser beam on the camera, we use a mini fog machine. We have separated devices within a few meters. We set the amplifier on a tenth of the maximum volume. A quick test with a synthesizer. On the laser, there's a lens to change the light propagation angle. However, after 442 meters, even with the smallest dot possible, it's never under a 10 cm diameter. To remediate, we use a solar panel block composed of 4 little solar panels. We can put it in this way. Now we're gonna try the transmission over 442 meters. We have to bring the emitter to our friend who lives there. Okay, here we are. The emitter is set up, the laser is on the max power. Now we just have to aim with the best accuracy one of those houses. After at least 50 minutes, it's down. I start music and plug the jack. Modulation level is on max. Let's go for the transmission. Here is what we can see 442 meters away. The laser is very bright even with the sun. Good job, we can see a red dot on the wall where we'll put the solar panels. They are directly linked to this 250 watt amplifier. With the high gain of the stereo, small light variations are very well transposed. All is ready, let's start the emitting. It's time, come on, put this out. And it works. Bad luck, because of a pine just in front of the laser, we have some volumes variations. We've just put the solar panels a little bit higher. It's time to try with the max volume. Okay, move your fingers in 
front of the laser beam. Okay, that's for the break table. We can notice that with the volume max, we hear a sound closer to the wind one, especially on long distance like here. This sound comes both from dust on the air and turbulences linked to heat. To create the emitter, we use only basic and recovered electronic components. It's the same for the wooden planes. Nevertheless, we bought the laser on eBay, but you can also craft a powerful one with a DVD writer and a lens. The concept is based on the variation of the laser's power at the rhythm of the music. The easiest way to do this is to use a ferret core with two wires. This way, the alternating current from the music will cross the ferret core and impact the laser's power, while there is no DC on the jack. This principle is workable with a low power laser only because the modulation level is very low. In the actual project, we use a 1 to 25 ratio transformer followed with a bipolar transistor forming a class A amplifier. As a result, the music variations are strongly amplified. The laser is used at 75% of its maximal power and with the music, it ranges from 50 to 100%. On the other side, it's simpler. The solar panels are constantly producing power due to laser and the sun. This continuous voltage is eliminated by the amplifier's input filter. It's only the variations of light from the laser that are amplified, so we can hear the music. Obviously, between the emitter and the receiver, the signal is transmitted at the velocity of light. Contrary to optic fiber networks, the transmission is analogic and the signal is necessarily damaged. We also use a 5 volt regulator to allow the laser to light as bright no matter the battery state of charge. By the way, our lead battery holds power of transmission. <laughs>